We're going to go over to community programs and or visitors and volunteers. Corey Stone, take it away. Visitors and volunteers. All right. Today, today I'm talking about my my friend Tracy Susie. She uh, she and her husband Bill are co-founders of uh, Loving Farm Animal Sanctuary. And uh, this past January, I had the pleasure of, of of meeting Tracy and taking her on a Grand Sanctuary tour. Um, it was just her and me, so it was very special. I took Tracy into Calmar, and when we went in there, I felt like I was with a celebrity. Everybody there wanted to meet her and talk to her. It was really cool to see. Um, the first time Tracy visited here was in 2001. She got a, a mailer about best friends and came to visit, uh, where her and Bill developed a uh, a friendship, a friendship with uh, some of the founders, um, including Faith Maloney, who sits on her advisory board, which is pretty cool. Um, they've been back about 10 times since 2001, and in early 2014, they took part in uh, how to uh, start and run your own animal sanctuary, where they returned back to their community in Paso Robles. California and established a Loving Farm Animal Sanctuary. Uh, they're a Loving Farm Animal Sanctuary. Um, uh, they take care of about 49 rescue animals. Right now they've got uh, nine pigs, four sheep, two goats, five turkeys, 16 chickens, one rooster, two horses, six dogs, and four cats. Tracy focuses on educating people about the attitudes of animals suffering in the animal ag industry. Uh, Loving Farm encourages veganism to help the animals, the planet, and our own health. Uh, they give tours and welcome volunteers to come help out with the animals. And they hold at least three vegan dinner fundraisers every year. And this past February, they had a booth at the Central Coast Veg Fest there in San Luis Obispo where Tracy was one of the featured guest speakers. Um, their mission statement goes as to protect and care for farmed animals and cats and dogs who have been neglected, abused, and abandoned, to educate the public and influence change on compassionate treatment of animals and the environment by encouraging a plant-based lifestyle. Uh, one of the pigs who lives there, as you can see on that picture, her name is Luna. Eating pigs is lunacy, it says. Luna came to a Loving Farm uh, via a brave young woman named Catherine who was taking part in a program through FFA. It's a Future Farmers of America program. And in this program, young people raise and bond with animals uh, with the end result of selling them at the fair and sending them off to slaughter. Uh, this was a disturbing thought to Catherine who, who raised Luna and uh, she did not want that to happen. And once she contacted Tracy, she knew that, that Luna would be saved and have a good life. And in July, 2019, Luna moved in to Loving Farm Animal Sanctuary with uh, her, uh, the rest of her rescue family. If any of you want to know more about uh, Loving Farm, you can find them on, on Facebook and Instagram. And you can also visit their webpage at lovingfarm.org. Corey, thank you. You're Good welcome. Beautiful little pig. Thank you. I know, right? <laughs> yep.